There we go. Alright, welcome guys. This is a TBT game uh, between me, Man Beast, as the blue Terran up here on the top right against Sherakur on the bottom left. This is a, a round two game of the UW StarCraft tournament that finally got started after a couple weeks of class and got some delays because of uh, meeting places issues, but now we're finally underway. So what map are you playing on over here? I believe this is Desert Oasis. Oasis maybe? Yeah. Actually, I do not like this map because I took it off of my map pool and I haven't played it. Like, so how do you weeks. guys decide the maps? Uh, no, they're predetermined in the tournament. Ah, I see. Like normal. So TVT is pretty mirrored, as you probably know. Uh, Supply Depot down. And next barracks, and then next refinery, and as you'll see, pretty early scout on Sherakur's part. I usually wait till, uh, of course, done with the supply depot. Barracks going down about at the same time for both of us. On this map, it's very important to. Keep on top of these Zelnaga, Zelnaga towers, towers. Yeah. since it's such a large map and a lot of space in the open, in the middle. Having sight is pretty important. Yeah, it's surprising that one of you didn't go for Reapers, as the the cliffs would provide a good opportunity for that. Yeah, I don't really know how to use them all that well while trying to continue on with my normal build, especially since. Uh, don't they require a factory now for a, I don't know, some nerf really kind of screwed up the uh, Reaper. Yeah. yeah, requiring a factory would be a nerf indeed. I guess us not even building them makes us not know what the hell yeah. happens <laughs> to them. So he did decide to build a, a bunker here at the natural expansion, which is an interesting move on such a large map. You're gonna have to just it's just a deny I guess but he does cancel it here in a little bit cuz I didn't notice that at all when I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> so factory's down for man beast here but yeah but there it goes the, they got canceled yeah but not for Sherakur here so he did get the orbital command a little bit quicker than you I wonder how that panned out in terms of minerals Pretty, pretty even, even so yeah. far. Harvester counts pretty oh, exactly even at the moment. Yeah, Terran versus Terran is a very mirrored game. Yeah. Second gas during the refactory. So I'm gonna be going heavy tech, dude. At least he's on top of his uh, supply depots. I usually. What am I at? Three now. Towards uh, when it gets to about a hundred is when I need to start actually practicing and getting keeping on top of things. Yeah, well at that point in the game there's just so much going on. Yeah. It's definitely hard to keep up with your macro. So two more racks going down for Sherakor. Both of us still just uh, pumping out marines from our barracks and the first siege tank are going down. So you did choose to put that supply depot near your um, the back door to your base, and I'm noticing that he didn't actually choose to do that. Yeah, usually these back rocks are a target for harassment or an early push, um, though they never became an issue since TVT is pretty, I, I, I want to guess, uh, just massing armies instead of trying to um, flank around to the rear, though I could have probably done a little bit more on here. He does put a marine up top, so we both do have sight here. Very true. So it looks like you're going for heavy marine play with those. Yeah, pretty pretty standard, I want to say, throughout what I've been playing as TVT and what I've seen on various streams and tournaments. So a little, uh, I want to just say scout with two marines it kind of failed hardcore on this on this ramp up here. 
So Siege Tech going down for Man Beast. And I believe the factory just going getting a tech tech lab now. He's not really utilizing uh his barracks, his all, barracks yeah. all that much. Expansion going down as well. I'm not too sure if I should refer to myself as Man Beast or just myself while reviewing well casting games like this. Probably just myself. Myself, okay. Both of us uh, opted to build a bunker. It's a weird place if for a bunker because it doesn't really defend the natural if someone does choose to attack. Yeah, the range doesn't really extend as far as it should on this position. It's both a ramp, I guess, and a natural expansion defense bunker, but... I'd I feel like if he would have just blocked the choke off, he would have had better luck with that. Yeah, I, I do agree, and that's why I decided to place mine in the middle. Yeah. So I decided to get a uh, Viking out first to do a little scouting around the map. Should be... Should be expanding soon here, and Sharaku also, also decides to spend another 100 minerals on the second bunker. Well, the good thing about the bunkers is you can... Salvage them. Uh, yeah, at any point of the time. So then I get us uh, begin to see what he's up to. Complete. See that he's um, does have his defensive bunkers up. I should be panning over it to see if it has an expand banded yet. I do see that as well. Ready. well. It looks like you do have the air superiority at this point in time. Yeah, I don't think he... No, Shirokuro does not have a starport down yet. And his expansion is pretty late as you can see it does his natural does start getting pretty uh, saturated, not too intense yet. Yeah. And I don't understand what he's doing here uh, moving his units back behind his main. I guess he was just worried about a drop which is which is smart but not to have his whole, whole army there. Um, I guess he felt secure in his defensive posture here. I guess that would have been a good time for you to attack if you would have known that you pulled everything out. Yeah, this game was pretty unexciting with early harass or any harass at that. Yeah, it looks like a turtling strategy in both of your guys' parts. Yeah, this yeah, this usually in ladder I'm a little more loose, but even though it wasn't a live or a yeah, live tournament. Just having a tournament, I was a little more anxious and uh, nervous on not making mistakes. Mm -hmm. so you guys did choose to uh, upgrade your weapons at the exact same time. Yeah. So some variation throughout our builds, but still pretty similar. Both of us actually deciding to go and clear out these rocks at the gold uh, expansion at the same time as well. The Shirku opts for a uh, uh, orbital, no, sorry, um, a planetary fortress that is natural, which I I didn't really understand why. It does cost 150 gas, which I guess I would put f forward to use in this um, upcoming reactor starport. Yeah, and here. at the same time, it doesn't allow you to have that extra mule come down every. 10 seconds or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, that's true. Those mules and scans are very helpful. Especially when you're trying to figure out what the hell their opponent's doing on such a large map. But, if you can see uh, on my screen, I do have a large vision of the map. I did have my Viking here over the expand, so I did see that he did clear out the rocks, so I decided to come and push in here a little bit. A very good choice. Uh, having that air superiority really helps because the only place for him to retreat would be up that path where your tanks would get a bunch of shots on him. Two more barracks going down for sure. And he cool. did use a stem to get by your tanks, it looks like. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he and did expend the stem pretty early here, and so. I don't know 
what he was trying to get at. Yeah, Does drop this uh, siege tank here at my gold expansion, to, uh, and it denies his expansion for a little bit. I'm surprised that he only went with one siege tank. That's pretty. That's not an effective use of a drop, in my opinion. Yeah. He does have uh, sight on my siege vision. tank, That's though. Annoying. Oh, but I. I guess he decides to go with it. To shoot something else. Yeah, my expansion here. And he unseizes, and then, which really doesn't help him at all. And then I come <laughs> in here and clean it up. Yeah, that single tank can't really do much. Even if you're shooting that one marine, he's gonna survive anyway. Yeah, which is ridiculous. So at this point of the game, Harvard or er, SCB count pretty even. Army. It's fairly even though I'm a little heavier on the mech side of things, and especially air superiority on TBT is Very completely important. Yeah. important. And that was Very a money important. scan on your part, you were able to see his whole army. Yeah, in this part of the game there's a little uh, dance around the desert action, basically just sniping the guys at the towers, moving back, just trying to test to see if we get any engagement going on. Finally, do get this uh, expansion going without any pressure. Large bio army for sure, core. We just s s skid around each other. We don't actually engage for a little while, which is surprising with such a large army. You. I don't know, I'm worried about just running into hordes of siege tanks, which I've done before, which is a, yeah, never good. See, I scanned there seeing if his army's there, and that, that Viking's just scouting for siege tanks, but it ended up not being, not being the case. Yeah, it looks like he's just now choosing to construct the expansion. Yeah, I'm opting for more uh, upgrades and so is he, he's going for the plus one armor upgrade. I don't really like Billings um, whatever these things are called. Your expansion right next to your like natural. I like being able to Build, build it, it over here. There. Well, the thing is, if you do decide to build it in your base and you do put an orbital command on it, you can float it around with the orbital command and gain all that energy to be able to put down an extra mule once you do land yeah, it. Yeah, that is true. So here I do set up on the, the site on the on the tower here, and then I hear I hear the medevacs lifting, and I'm like, what the hell are you trying to do? I was worried about a drop. So trying to go see here, and he stims and he attacks, and he tries to go with his medevacs, but they can they get completely wiped out by my oh marines. Oh my gosh! And his army that was, amazing. that was half of his army in the air without being able to do anything. With yeah. anything. No, it looks like you don't even care about those tanks up there. I'm yeah, not at all. Back. So I just charge in here and the GG for sure. Yeah, that was, that so that GG. was a. Definitely a bad move on his part. He should have pulled those medevacs and taken them around the back. Yeah, so not a very exciting TVT game, but I did was able to win the tournament. I'm not too sure when the next game will be, but until then, uh, see you guys later. Later.